Hey guys, it's your boy Evan. Today I'm going to show you my process for sketching Damian Wayne as Robin. So starting out, I like to go ahead and put in kind of like an oval shape for his head, just determining where his chin is and the top of his head is going to be. And I stay very loose. There are no hard rules. I don't try and put down a permanent line. I always try to use the side of my pencil to kind of just get the feeling of the drawing and whatnot. I don't like to just start out with a hard, you know, line on the page. That's not very comfortable, nor is it very creative. It stunts your creativity when you start out using a hard line. And as you can see here, I have his back fleshed in and now I'm drawing his hands are together. It's like he has, he's uh, putting his fist in his other hand. Like, yeah, he's ready to crack some skulls right now. And just putting in some of his glove uh, details with his wrinkles and, and so forth. I don't have to put this in at this point, but um, it is some details that I will have to flesh out. So I might as well go ahead and tackle them now because I can't very well put the rough version of these in here. So just putting his fingers across his hand like this, his pinky, which is coming from his left hand, and then his ring finger on top of that. And you can kind of just go ahead and just pose for yourself in the mirror, or take a selfie or take a picture of someone, one of your friends in this pose and to get the feeling of it and to just kind of draw over it and keep doing it until you practice and get it to where it looks about right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to look convincing. And I'm just putting in some more of his hand rendering down here and then kind of bouncing back up here towards his head we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in his mask and he's gonna kind of have this low angle look so his head will kind of like slightly be bent towards us and just put in his, the, um, his first eye and then I'm going to kind of put in his second eye. And I like drawing the eyes about the same time. I don't want to just draw one fully and then draw the other one. I kind of have them going both at the same time. I'll bounce to one eye and then go to the other one. And then bounce back to the other one. To kind of make sure that they both are in sync and in line. Because I've made the mistake in the past of drawing one eye fully to completion. And then going over drawing the other eye and the other eye did not match whatsoever so with drawing your eyes you want to go ahead and kind of do them both at the same time lightly sketch out one and i'm using this toy as reference too so lightly sketch out one and then go to the other eye so toys are your friend you want to go ahead and use your toys to you know just use them as models you know, to get the costume detail, to see how shadow and light falls on the face. So definitely use whatever action figures you have. What action figures do you have? Let me know in the comments below. Um, do you have certain Justice League, Avengers, you know, um, wrestling figures? What figures do you have? Let me know. I want to know what kind of toys you guys play with, you know, so... Um, but no, just use your toys as reference. You know, we have them there to inspire us because we have cool, you know, we just like superheroes and they look cool sitting on our desk or our shelves. But also pull them down and let those toys work for you and help you get a better understanding of how the character looks. Um, you can use them, you know, hold your toy at a certain angle at difficult angles it might be for the character to be in or difficult for you to draw and you can use those as a reference for drawing those difficult poses and angles it's like having your own model you know right there doing whatever you want them to do posing however you want them to pose 
and just use that as a starting point and reference for you to begin your drawing because sometimes drawing those difficult poses you don't know where to start you don't know how to get the perspective the upshot the downshot the foreshortening of that leg or arm just start with your toys and that's what they're there for I love my action figures and my toys I can use them for whatever I have a spider-man figure that I use a lot he's very posable he has about like 16 points of articulation on it and uh, he's great for when I need to get difficult poses and for shortening on him or on the figure whatever figure I'm drawing doesn't have to be spider-man it could be anyone the Iron Man or whoever so going here back to Damien we kind of have his hair yeah, he has his hair just kind of like just standing up. I think he puts too much hairspray in his hair. What do you think? Too much mousse, too much hair gel, too much hair care products. And I'm going to have the shadow, a coarse shadow on the front of his face. So the back of his or the top of his hair will be um, in light. So he's kind of like backlit. So when the light comes from behind you, you have the shadow in the front. Or when you're top lit. So he's kind of like the lights, like just behind above him, just slightly, and it casts a coarse shadow in the, in the uh, the very front of him. And you want to give him his uh his wide, not too wide of shoulders, but have his shoulders coming down. He is just sim simply a boy, so he's not like he doesn't have the traditional superhero build. He's still just a boy. And make sure he has the boyish look with his shoulders. Um, and I like darkening in his lines here. And I might go in and just adjust some of the um, the rendering and shadows on the face. Tweak his mask some until I get what I like. And just feel free to go ahead and make the drawing yours. But this is how I sketch out normally. And gonna put in his uh, insignia on his shirt here. It's the R R R, doing it with the R. Who knows that song? That's from an old hip hop group called Eric B and Rakim. And then, like I said before, we're gonna have this like core shadow going down here. And the reason I have these kind of like spike marks on his uh, cape is because these is where like the wrinkles of his cape are. And we kind of just indicate that quickly by just putting in these like little spike marks. And leaving the white parts is where the fold or wrinkle of the cape is hit by light. And now kind of just going down and coloring in some more of the shadow parts and just taking my time with it. I need to finish fleshing out his glove over here. He has these long green gloves and putting a coarse shadow on there, a shadow below. Yeah, it's coming together. And treat the other glove the same way. And this is how I normally sketch. You know, I'll tweak and adjust and modify. Some things I'll stick with, some I won't. I'll erase, um, add to remove so it just varies um, everyone has their own process and it's constantly just erasing and adding erasing and adding and modifying you never know what looks quite right until you actually put it down on paper so you're like oh you know what I have a great idea for a certain pose or a certain body part on how it looks and the, the angle but when you put it down on paper and on second thought that didn't look as good as I thought it would be so you go ahead and change that and work with what you have and sometimes our skill level isn't as where we want it to be so we think we can draw something but actually after we actually draw it it doesn't turn out the way we think it will be as you can see I've got the core shadow on his face right here and you can do the same thing with your own characters um, and just light him or light them like this. I'm going to have one side more in shadow than the other one. I think it'll call for a more dramatic feel to it. Almost like a gradient going across his face. His face. Uh, I like the contrast of the, the white light part on around the edge of his face 
contrasted and next to the very dark part of the shadow on his face. And I'll give him a course, I mean, uh, a shadow under his lip and under his nose. And I still want to keep his eyes white. So I'll just go ahead and define those a little bit more. And then put the shadow on his chest and more on his gloves. And I think he's just about done here. And now I want to put in some background design on this sketch. I normally don't put in full backgrounds on my practice sketches, but I want to go ahead and add something in here. I'm going to put this dark figure above Damien way in the background. Can you guess who it is? Um, I want to just kind of flesh it out a little bit more. It won't be any detail. This figure will be in full shadow. And I'm going to add a few more details on here. We're going to put some blood dripping off Damien's gloves. So it's kind of like draw it as in drops that are just dripping down. This was an idea someone gave me. And I'm going to go ahead and add it down here. Just a few little drops. It's like, yeah, he just finished cracking some skulls. You know, busting some heads. And now going back up to the figure that we have. Going to have that dark figure uh, standing on top of a, uh, a building or something in the background. Flesh it in. Kind of like overlooking Damien as his guardian. Like I said, can you guess who it is? Let me know in the comments below. And then draw the building. I'll turn my page when I have to fill in a certain area all in one. With the pencil lines going in the same direction. And now some more buildings back here behind him. At an angle. And I want to kind of have the shadow of the building faded out from dark at the top to lighter at the bottom. So kind of erase some of those pencil lines out. And now going back to the other side of the page, I want to go ahead and put a full moon, a big old moon in the background. Put some shadow on the moon, just on one side of it. You don't have to fill in the entire thing. People know what it is. And kind of tweak it, erase some of my construction lines and make it a little bit finer and more detailed. Yeah, I think it looks good. And there you have it. That's Damian Wayne as Robin, the boy wonder. Thanks for watching. And if you're still having a hard time coming up with your own superhero body, then click the link below in the description and get my free superhero mini course. Get started right now. Don't wait.